Welcome to the Rat King's Lair. Wish me luck because this is going to be the shittiest of all shows. Now, this hospital right here is the ground zero for the Cordyceps outbreak, at least in Seattle. If you think the five stages of infection are dangerous, you ain't seen nothing yet, Jack. Okay. Surgery, trauma, I see you. This part is especially tense because you're alone, you can't go to anybody for help, you don't know what's around the corner, and Abby's on bad terms with the other wolves for escaping. This is honestly a very bad situation for Abby to be in, and this is one of the greatest parts of the game. <laughs> I don't know who the monster designer for this game is, but kudos to them because they really outdid themselves. Okay, trauma surgery then. You have to go all the way to the bomb floor for the medical supplies. This place was pretty pick clean. This area will give you a bunch of supplies to get you ready for the boss fight. And yes, I did say boss fight. The Last of Us 2 actually has boss fights. That's something different from the first game. Though there were kind of a bit, sort of, almost boss fights with the bloaters in the previous game, but they weren't like actual boss fights, they were just larger encounters. Though this game doesn't really have that many boss encounters neither, there's only... I can count it on one hand, there's literally three or four different boss fights in the game. Trauma center's gonna be in there. What do we have here? I think we found the medical supplies. Or not. Oh, it's just a note. It's always a note. You fought the good fight. That letter was a bit of foreshadowing to the Rat King. The thing took out an entire squadron. How is Abby going to take care of this thing? Mask on! We're going to encounter some more clickers in here too. This is very creepy. You'll find a bunch of different med kits strewn around the place, but they're all empty. However, there is one special med kit somewhere around here. Now I get why people are afraid of hospitals. This area is just... wow. And not only that, you got the infected floor growths everywhere. Uh, that's bizarre. But not nearly as bizarre as what's about to come. If I were in charge of this building, I'd just have it demolish. It's too far gone. And here are the usual suspects. Be sure to craft some shivs here too. You do not want to get grabbed without having shivs at hand because it will be an instant kill otherwise. Be a around here somewhere. And the zombies come out of the walls in this part too. Don't worry, these are stalkers so you can risk getting grabbed by them. I'm trying to save my ammo, so I'm going to say I did expect that, I just didn't shoot at the wall because I want to save my rounds. Anyway, we need to find the generator in order to get the blast doors open. There's also a workbench near the generator area, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Where 
He's Levin here. Or Manny. Yeah, Manny. Manny would have been great. I don't think Lev or Manny would help in this situation at all. Honestly, they would get in the way. Here's another workbench, and to be honest, I don't even know what I've upgraded at this point. I just want more firepower for the Rat King, that's about it. I know this type of infected is extremely rare and one in a million, but I wonder if there are other Rat Kings in the world. Uh, that would be something to put in The Last of Us Part 3 or a spinoff. And also, strangely enough, the Rat King is not actually named the Rat King by anybody else in the game. It's just some sort of nickname that came out of nowhere. I don't know if the developers or the internet gave the Rat King its unofficial name, but we come to know it as the Rat King. <laughs> and it, it will forever be the Rat King. Alright, so I've increased the damage to the shotgun as if I actually need it. Well, I do need it for the Rat King, but for anybody else, they just explode in one shot anyway. So maybe I made the shotgun a bit too overpowered, but I love shotguns. What can I say? Let there be light, but the bad news is the rest of the infected will stumble out of those rooms. We just have to run back to where we came from. Oh god, the blast doors still don't have enough juice in them. Good thing Abby is freakishly strong enough to pull those apart. Oh, okay, you want to play that game? Here, I won't miss with this. First try! Well, there goes my conserving ammo's rule. Oh, don't worry, there'll be more. Your guess is as good as mine's, Abby. Like I said before, there is this one med kit, the Stuff of Miracles, but you have to backtrack a bit. Let's see what you got. For fuck's sake. There's gotta be somewhere else. It looks like we won't be able to find the supplies in here. Vandalism. But we should be able to find supplies in an ambulance. Because ambulances are the key to all of our problems. They really are. I don't know what I'm trying to upgrade here. I'm just looking at the skill tree set and nothing's clicking for me at the moment. Uh, get it? Clicking? Ha 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 ha. I'll go with max health for now. There are a couple of emergency rooms with ammo in them. I'm going to need as much ammo as I can humanly carry. I forgot about that guy, to be honest. Anyway, let me look around this room, and then after that, I'm going to go look for this ambulance, because of course the medical supplies have got to be in the ambulance, am I right? That's the only other place I haven't looked into yet. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity, and this is just grade A stupidity. Even if Abby had a group, there's no way they'd survive this. They need a tank for this monstrosity. Or Chris Redfield. You always get Chris Redfield for the bad stuff. What? If anybody's played Final Fantasy VII, the concept's pretty much the same here. You just follow the blood trail. Alright, all we need to do is get the stuff and get out of- Oh, okay, I forgot Abby actually said that too. <laughs> but we need to get the stuff and get the hell out of here because 
Things are about to get ugly. I'm sorry to destroy your optimism, but things always fail in this universe, Abby. Yes. Thank God. Liv, get ready to celebrate. This is not good. This is not good at all. That's the Rat King. You thought it was some sort of enhanced bloater? No, it is a monstrosity of the highest order. It is a bloater, four to five clickers in one, and an extra stalker for good measure. You're locked into a run like hell section here. Any bodily contact with the Rat King, that's not scripted of course, will instantly kill you. Period. This hallway does trick a lot of new players. Do not go straight. Go to the left and get the fire axe. I'm surprised that gas mask doesn't come off at all. It is firmly secured on Abby's face because plot convenience. Alright, here we go. We're fighting Big Chungus here. And the only way to stop him is through distance. Keep away from him and keep shooting. That's all I can tell you. Don't worry about running out of ammo here because the algorithm in this game knows about this boss being bullet spongy. So it would just drop out free ammo when you run out of everything. It's quite generous like that. The biggest rule of thumb to take away from this fight with the Rat King is do not get into melee range of this thing. And... Do not, under any circumstance, get cornered. There's no way out if you get cornered. You can use the Rat King's lack of turning mobility, I guess you can call it, because it may be fast on straightaways, but it turns like a tank, so you can just go completely around it sometimes. Like I just did. And also, the flamethrower, the shotgun, and your semi-automatic rifle are your best friends. Use them liberally here. Here's phase 2, the stalker and bloater halves, or 75-25%. The stalker is a non-issue, you just keep an eye out on him and make sure he doesn't get in the way. Focus on the bloater half, he's the one that will insta-kill you. Get out of my way. Be sure to dodge the stalker with the L1 button, he will attempt to pot shot you from the corners. This thing takes a lot of bullets, and I did- oh my god, oh my god, I almost died there. This- the Rat King, he takes a lot of bullets. I don't know why. <laughs> also, how did the Rat King become like this? Why is the Rat King like this? Why am I fighting an extra stalker that just grew out of the Rat King? There are so many questions I need answers to here. And another question is, is the Umbrella Corporation in the Last of Us universe? because this seems like something they would make. The answer is no. Not dying here. He also got the hunting pistol which does a lot of damage to the Rat King. I almost died again. He was damn close to me that time. Get out of here. A thousand bullets later and the Rat King will finally die. You shall burn in hell!
The Rock King was a good boss fight. I think it's the best boss fight in the game, right next to Abby versus Ellie. But then again, Abby versus Ellie is a kind of a rehash of David versus Ellie from the first game. And you'll see why in a couple of parts from now. But never mind that, you may have noticed that the stalker half just mysteriously got away. He's nowhere to be found here. So we just gotta chase it down. There's the bastard. Think he's trying to get free. Well, we can't let that happen now, can we? I didn't even shoot at it or punch it at all, so of course it's still alive. Actually, I think the stalker is invincible until you defeat the bloater half. Phase 3 of the Rat King, which is the stalker part. It's enhanced with acid spores. You can attempt to fist fight it, but I just shoot it with a shotgun for quick and easy damage. No. No. Get away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can actually fight this thing with your fists, but it's really beefy, so I recommend not doing this and just try to kill it as quickly as possible. It even blocks shotgun shells with its face. Like, what is wrong with this thing? It's a freak of nature. Just fucking die already. There we go. Abby survived and conquered the Rat King, and nobody's going to believe her, because, quite frankly, it does sound ridiculous on paper. Hey guys, you'll never believe what just happened. I just fought this gigantic creature that looks like the Thing. Oh, bullshit, Abby. Come on. No, seriously. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Assholes. <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to believe her. No, now that I'm thinking about it, Lev might believe Abby, but then again, Lev does not know what a quarter is. He's pretty gullible. Oh good, sunlight. We're almost out of this hospital. Thank God. I don't want to see another Rat King ever again. We just go up this ramp, and that's going to be the end of Abby's Day 2. We still gotta finish up Ellie's Day 2, though. Looking for you. What did you do? Nothing. I told you to stay put. I couldn't. Your friends are all over the place. Did you get the stuff? Yeah. Now I just need to get the hell out of here.
You want to pet her? It's okay. Yeah, see? Well done. You can go see her now if you want. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, actually. They're just kids. I know. What happened to us? Maybe we stopped looking for the light. Maybe. I'm gonna go check on the girl.